This is the second half. We're going to pick it up right here, uh, and we're still in section one from Cicero's Procaleo, and we're talking about a hypothetical man. Um, if if, if uh, kind of a random stranger came about our courtroom here on a holiday, what would he think? Uh, he would be left with all sorts of impressions, um, and one is that the defendant would be a really terrible guy, and two, the crime, the law that, that he's charged with breaking would be a very serious one. So he would not disapprove of the law. So once more, we have another present subjunctive here. He would not disapprove of the law. Good light to tease. He would require, he would demand a charge which would be literally turned, um, but treated or um, um, brought about in court. When he would hear, or simply when he hears, that no crime, no audacity, no violence is being called into judgment, but he hears that a young man of illustrious character, of hard work, and of charm is being accused by the son, so remember this is Atratinus, of him whom Caelius himself is both calling and has called into judgment, into a courtroom. Well, uh, however, and he is being attacked, he's being besieged with the wealth of a prostitute. Well, he would not blame the piety of Atratinus himself. He would think that this womanly desire, this desire of this woman, of this meritrix mentioned here, must be restrained. He would value, he would think that you, judges, are laborious, that you are hardworking, for whom, and this is a little tough here, for whom it is permitted, and here, ne quidem is your negative, so for whom it would not be or may not be indeed permitted to be otiosis, so at, at rest or at leisure, indeed in a common period of free time. So, in other words, judges, he would consider you hardworking because you are not in, a, you are not at leisure when everybody else is at leisure.